Um, the idea of, of biotourism is that I became very interested in why it was in, uh, I guess in the 1940s, but in the 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s, we had a kind of fantasy of the idea that we could travel with inside of the spaces of our own bodies. Well, why at this particular moment when science and medical science is moving to this more micromolecular scale that we're still hanging on to this kind of anatomical figurative body that has recognizable landmarks and body parts that people feel they can visit. I'm not just studying this. I have become a biotourist. I'm, uh, I've become the person who goes to all of your exhibits, drags family members and friends out, and makes them look at what I'm passionate about and what fascinates me. How is the body, but also the body within the field of medicine, kind of put on display? How are we organized uh, in terms of the movement through those spaces? What kinds of fictions and rhetorical tropes are offered to us as we move through those spaces? So I'm uh, also interested in the way that various um, uh, museums and, and theme parks also play off both the sublime and the grotesque as a kind of uh, way to think of through not just an intellectual response, because you're not just transmitting information in a museum, you're giving people an experience. What kinds of movements are both literally staged because of our entry into these spaces where in some ways in some instances, we're made to sort of also feel like we've been miniaturized as we kind of walk up the vaginal canal in the Millennium Dome, which is the weirdest thing, um, uh, or walk through the walk-through heart displays uh, in the Franklin Museum, where uh, in some ways there's a journey in it that happens in the space of those little those uh, iconic displays, but at the same time. There's a trajectory of movement in exhibition design that is also staged for us, biotourists, who walk into your museums. So, uh, in so doing, I'm also interested in the way that the body is transformed into a kind of landscape for, of course, this kind of fictive travel. <laughs> Done. <laughs>
In your experience, what have you found out about just how rewarding an experience this is for visitors? Because I think now in any science centre, any child or adult who goes in there expects some sort of a roller coaster ride of going through the body. You flashed up those images of the hearts, and to be honest with you, the majority of them are rather twee, and I would say most visitors find them boring and tedious. Yeah. So why are we continuing on with it? Your opinion?